Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to delete the page file that SYS or system file in Windows 10. So if you're going to go ahead and clear this up in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So we're going to start by opening up the star menu, type in sysdm.cpl. You want to go ahead and right click on that and then select run as administrator. Select yes. Now select the advanced tab and underneath performance, visual effects, processor scheduling, memory usage and virtual memory. Select the settings button. Select the advanced tab. Select the change button right here. And there where it says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. You want to uncheck that option. And then select no paging file button down here. And then select set. Please note that if you disable the paging file or set the initial size to less than 200 megabytes and a system error occurs, Windows might not record details that could help identify the problem. Do you want to continue? We're going to select the yes. However, you are welcome to just change the allocated space size as well. So you can actually go ahead and select the custom size in here and just make it about 200 megabytes if you choose to do so. You're welcome to if you want. We're just going to completely disable it for today's tutorial. So. Honestly, I mean, it's a little subjective there. I personally don't think it's completely necessary, and if you're really low on space, you can consider turning off the paging file. So just keep that in mind. I personally, if you had some space, I would try not to completely turn it off, but you do have that option here. So just go ahead and select OK. Select OK again to save that. Select OK once more. And that's pretty much it. So you can just obviously, if you want to go back, you can just automatically manage paging file size for all drives. If you just check mark that, at some point in the future, you can re-enable the paging file. So pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.